we're going to be looking at coroutines for Kotlin and what coroutines is is pretty much a better way to thread for Android without going from running background thread for async and then running UI thread for your edit texts and then waiting for a result to end before doing the UI thread this does that all for you a lot easier and we'll get get more into it but the first thing we need to do is to add this coroutines and that you could find that within the Anko github and going to wiki coroutines and it's right here let's get started we first get this new class with async Import that, it's experimental, coroutines, and then UI. Now this async task runs in the UI by default. Now you, you may be thinking async task is supposed to be in the background, but this method gives you the ability to pretty much start up the background threads, and you can't start it from anywhere else. So what do I mean by that? So say we have a, a network API and we want to have our edit text. We want to uh, let's do oops. get data from server. And then we're gonna set it to the data from that. So when we do this, in a background thread, in a regular async task, this would all be in the background thread. And then you have to put up a, a UI thread, you know, and that's a lot of stuff you have to put in. And plus you have to time everything, because you never know when this data from server is going to get the results so you have to put in a callback a anonymous inner class into that and it becomes this big giant thing that the line that the lines of code are all the way down here and you can't exactly see what's going on well this pretty much fixes that so right now this is all in the ui thread but what we're going to do is we're going to give we're going to do bg short for background and this puts that in the background thread let's look at the background thread and this automatically gives you a pooled background thread so it's not one single one it looks in the pool and picks the one that it needs to so you don't have to worry about anything it will do the pooling for you now you see this set text is red now that's because this, da this data isn't a string, so if we do this, it will show up as it's not a string. It's actually a deferred. And that gives us the ability to put dot await. Now what await does, it says that I'm not going to call this function set text until data is populated so say we we run the app and it goes to data and it says i'm collecting data and then it goes to the next line it doesn't it doesn't wait for this to finish because it's a background thread so it keeps going it goes to this one and it says oop i have a dependency i i have a dependency here data isn't populated yet i'll wait for that and once it's populated then i'll call a set edit text and it will keep on going down the line too, so it will it will print, you know, hi there before data is even populated. It will still go down the chain. So if we run this, we will get I just put a text in there. I didn't I didn't do any network 
operations, but it will return data, data one, two, three. Yep, and that, there it is. And those are the basics to coroutines for Android and Colin.